Revelation chapter 18, John sees an angel come down from heaven and announces the devastation, the fall of Babylon, the destruction of Rome, this great superpower, this end of the time government. And many begin to mourn. Many are sad. Not those who believe, but those who have been kind of sucked into and become a part of the world system. And in fact, listen to what it says. It says, they cried out, verse 18, when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what is like this great city? They threw dust on their heads and cried out, weeping and wailing and saying, alas, alas, the great city, which all had ships in the sea became rich by her wealth, for in one hour she is made desolate. Rome, this great power in the end time, has finally come to an end. It's the end of that great power. Listen to what it says as we read a few more verses. It says, the light of the lamp shall not shine in you anymore, speaking of man's power, man's dominion, man's great city. And the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall not be heard in you anymore. For your merchants were great men of the earth. For by your sorcery, all the nations were deceived. And in her was found the blood of prophets and saints and of all who were slain on earth. All the death of those who believed, all the saints and all those who are martyred for their faith. And God finally deals with mankind who places its trust in wealth and power and prestige. And so those who are crying, not believers, but those who put everything they had into the riches and the wealth and the prominence of earth. Here in chapter 18, we see mankind finally being judged and we're about to come into the end of Revelation when God himself begins to call his people home to heaven, to a city that will never, ever burn and will never fail.